today we have with us devi priya ajit uh, who is one of the top scorer in agriculture optional c secure uh, around to 76 marks uh, in agriculture optional this year sir i am a graduate in agriculture i have done my bsc honors agriculture from college of agriculture tiruvanandapuram and i have done my post graduation in development studies uh, sir for agriculture basically i prepared based on my notes from college and uh, from some websites like tnu angrao i got some pdfs so that was my basic preparation material then one thing i have did was uh, this time was i attended all the questions in my previous attempts i was not able to complete the paper properly so in this attempt even though i didn't uh, knew the answer properly for some questions i mentioned that i will attend it and i uh, structured my answers properly so i think structuring of the answer is also very important in our exam even if we have a good content if we don't present it in a proper structured manner we will not be able to score marks so structuring of the answer completing the paper on time and uh, adding value added points so these are some of the uh, strategies that i used the importance of writing test is that uh, we will develop a good articulation skill and we will also understand how much to learn uh, an example that i could uh, say is for example we people make lot of notes uh, for agriculture we may read uh, ready made materials uh, or from basic reference textbooks like that we will make notes or we will study we will draw many diagrams etc but when we make notes during that time we may take 3 uh, to 5 minutes to do, draw a diagram but in the actual paper you will get for a 10 mark question you will get only 6 to 7 minutes to answer that question and for a 15 or 20 mark questions uh, we will take a maximum of 9 to 10 minutes so one diagram you have to you may have to draw within one minute and you should know what all points that you should write the weight limit sometimes we may not be able to express all our uh, answers means all our points in words sometimes we may need to draw diagrams Uh, some schematic diagrams or representative diagrams so all these things once we write answer only we know so also we can develop our answer writing speed because speed is also very important so this uh, optional preparation is not only really content building uh, it is more of a presentation building also so the series will definitely help us to build our presentation style and after the series we will get feedback and also uh, our mentors will tell us how to improve ourselves so all these things are part of the exam so writing the series will definitely help us improve actually uh, this year's mains is around i think 15th of september and some yes. students are still in confusion that how much time they should surrender for their gs and optional they are in the ambiguity that sometimes they just more focus on gs some uh, time they are just more serious about the optional someone is coming to me and he is telling that i didn't write a single essay so this is our overall dilemma in this year's main students so how you managed uh, that dilemma of balancing the time between the gs optional and essay at the time of mains particularly uh actually it is about uh, how we divide the subjects for example in agriculture optional uh, the paper 2 it requires more revision because they are more technical subjects in case of paper 1 uh, it is just about remembering the important points an example that i could say is that if we consider agriculture extension rather than uh, revising a lot of material if we have some basic points uh, like for example what are the principles of extension education the only thing is that we should remember that points what are those principles if we if we remember that point we could explain it similar uh, case with other subjects in paper 1 but in paper 2 we may have to dedicate more time for example uh, this genetics physiology and all we may have to dedicate more time so it is always good to dedicate 2 uh, to 3 hours every day during these intervals of mains for the optional subject and within that 2 to 3 hours we should prioritize like uh, which uh, subject within that optional that i should dedicate more time for example it is always better to dedicate more time to paper 2 within that 3 hours we can dedicate more time to paper 2 and in paper 1 also we could prioritize uh in paper 1 every year more number of questions could be seen from the topics like weed science uh soil science irrigation etc so within that paper 1 if we 
uh, realize which are the important areas that are always being repeated. And for example, this uh, irrigation or dry land agriculture, the number of topics that we need to study is also very less. So we could analyze based on cost benefit ratio. Means if I put this much effort or this much time, how much marks that uh, possibility of scoring, how much marks is there? Within GS also, we can uh, uh, do this strategy. And uh, what I could say is that always look at that cost and benefit. For how much time, for this much time I put, put will how much mark will I get? Based on that, we should divide our time. Uh, if a person is weak in the optional, then it, it is advised he should dedicate more time. So uh, we may fix a target mark, like I should get this much marks in mains. So based on that, we may know what is my weak point and what is my strong point. Identify our weak and strong points and based on that, prioritize our study. Some students are just calling me and they, they are telling or asking me that, sir, I, I want to prepare dedicatedly for Indian forest service. Usually I ask or answer them, uh, it's totally depend upon your prelims mark. Even though you don't know you are going to appear for men's or not. So have you started your uh, that, uh, that Indian forest service preparation after prelims result or you have already targeted that I will only go for this? Uh, sir, actually, uh, I didn't know much about the IFS exams. Uh, means, uh, since I was an agriculture graduate from that background, every year when I give option for civil service, I always give option for forest service also. So when last year I closed the prelims, then only I started uh, my forest service preparation. That too, only after the civil service mains exam, I have started the preparation. And in that, uh, one of the advantages is that I have took agriculture optional. So that part was already done during the civil service exam. So I only had to study my botany optional in that two months gap between civil service and forest service means. And in forest service uh, means we have general studies and general English paper. In general studies paper, uh, it coincides, most of the portion coincides with the civil service means itself. We need to study polity, economy, and history. In history, it is uh, more concentrated on the medieval Indian part but uh, only that three portions and it has more weightage to environmental science and science and tech. But a person who is studying well for civil service means can cover it. And English, we may need to give importance and there are two optionals. That too in forest service, what I could say is that in civil service for uh, optional, we have 500 marks and three hours time. And in forest service for optional, we have three hours time and we need to write only for uh, 200, 400 marks. Each paper is 200 marks each. So we may get more time. So um, having a, co a common optional for both these services will be a great advantage for us. Okay. And uh, one more thing is that nowadays students are, uh, they are very fearful about their prelims. What will be your suggestions? How to tackle with the prelims day by day? It's becoming a little bit difficult for the candidates, particularly from the biological science background student, particularly because of the CSAT. So what would be your suggestions? Uh, so for uh, really, it is uh, becoming very tough for me also. Uh, one time, uh, I think in 2019 attempt, I scored very good marks in GS, but uh, I was not able to clear prelims because I scored below 66% in CSAT. So uh, what I could say is that we should focus more on prelims. If prelims is a weak point of us, we should focus more on it. And for CSAT, it would be better if we uh, see the pattern of questions that are coming over the last days. Um, there are some questions that are in logical analysis like that, which is being repeated. So such kind of questions and English, all these things we need to practice more. If prelims is... Uh, difficult or if CSAT is difficult, we should start the preparation earlier. And in films also, what I did was I based my preparation based on the previous year questions. Uh, usually in my previous attempts in um, which I was not able to clear, uh, I started a strategy like I studied some topics. For example, for history, I may read spectrum. Rashmi Gandhi, I may read polit polity for Leshmigan, like that I will read. Then I will go for a test series. I will attend it. Like that I had gone. But on those attempts, which I had scored very good marks for prelims, like for forest service, 
what i did was i first referred to the upsc previous year question and from that i i identified which is the important point for example if there is a question on the different schedules of the constitution i will first read that question and after solving it i will go through each options of that questions uh, in environment geography in each options of the questions we may get familiar familiarized with new places like new national parks etc so these are the portions that are covered by upsc so first we should identify which is the important points that is being covered by upsc and based on that i did my prelims preparation and test series very is very important for prelims it is like uh, we are learning a cycle attaining a cycle balance if we have a good um, skill of solving the mcqs it will be very easy for us to score for the uh, prelims uh, an example that i could say from my own journey is that uh, last year in 2021 i attended both uh, civil service and for service interview and i attended this uh, prelims of 2022 in between these two interviews so i had not any time to prepare for my prelims and i went for the prelims uh, just after my civil service interview i only had five days gap so but even though i had a skill in solving the mcqs i was able to qualify the prelims so the basic thing is that we should see it as a skill acquiring a specific kind of skill because in prelims one of the advantage is that there are four options that is the answer is in front of us the only thing is that we need to eliminate the wrong option and identify the right option so for that not only knowledge but we should develop a certain kind of skill of elimination so elimination will be a good strategy and for csat uh, definitely we need to put more effort uh, especially for biology graduates like me we need to put uh, more effort once again we will come up, come to the agriculture optional that uh some students are telling that uh, i don't have that much presentation skill shall i draw diagram that is introduction conclusion for almost all the question what is the reality is it required or you should uh, try to attempt at least the basic demand of the question or there is a compulsory to write that diagrams maps and everything in every question uh sir um, if we go by an example if there is a question the basic thing is uh, what we need to do is that we should address that question for example um, there will be a question word question word will be just what why discuss how like that and there will be a core part of the question like for example what is photosynthesis or discuss uh, the economic uh, condition of the small and marginal farmers of india or enlist the farm plan the different principles of farm plan like that so first we should address the question word and uh, based on that question word we should write the answer and next is about the presentation like a gs answer the optional answer will also have an introduction a body part and a conclusion so uh, what i would suggest is that if it is a technical question like paper 2 physiology what is c3 cycle in the introduction it is always better to give the definition Uh, there will be a standard definition so write that standard definition and if it is a generalist question like for example the status of small and marginal farmers of india in the introduction it is better to give a statistics like india 85% of these farm holdings are small and marginal level like that we can include a statistics and in going to the conclusion part uh, if generalist question we can give way forward long term or short term measures or if any scheme is related to that we can write it for technical purpose for example if it is regarding plant breeding in the conclusion for example if back back crossing method or some breeding method is asked in the conclusion we can give uh, an example of a variety being released by an agricultural university based on that method like that we can give and all these diagrams or or these representations it comes in the body part so where should we include diagrams first thing if the in the question if it is asked like draw a schematic diagram of this cell structure the question if it is asked you should definitely draw then where should we draw diagrams there may be questions that are 10 marker question 15 or 20 marker questions so in 10 marker questions it is always suggested that we should write at least five to minimum five points we should write maximum 10 points if we write we will get a good mark 
So in 10 marker question, uh, we can draw some small diagrams or some representative diagrams. For example, if intercropping, mixed cropping, like that is us, we could uh, just represent based on Hindu marks, like how a mixed cropping or a, how an intercropping comes like that. We can do, draw a representative diagram. And it comes to, if it comes to a 20 mark question, we only know eight points and we don't know much points in that and we don't know to expand. There we can utilize the space by drawing a diagram. For example, if it is based on an integrated farming system, what is an integrated farming system? Then there can, we can use a diagram and we can explain. Uh, so it will be more attractive, plus it will fill our space. And um, there, if there are some questions like, what are the different uh, components of uh, biofertilizers like that? In that, uh, we may not have, if it is asked for 20 months, we may not have that much points or at that time, we may not remember that much points. So uh, we can draw these diagrams as gap fillers. If we need to fill the gap, we can use these diagrams as gap fillers. Or if soil nitrogen fixation, such a question comes, we can we know the diagrams, like how the nitrogen fixation happens, like denitrification, nitrification process like that. We may write a lot. But if a single diagram is there, it will be easy for the examiner. The examiner will understand Yes, this candidate knows the answer. So it will create a better impression. So for creating a better impression also, we can use the diagrams. And all these thing is a competitive advantage because definitely a comparison will come when they analyze our paper. If a candidate has drawn all the diagrams very neatly labeled and put up in boxes, and that too, one thing I can say is that in our body part, we can divide our answer into different subheadings. We can put in boxes if it is very neat. If one candidate is uh, has done like that, and if the examiner uh, analyzes their paper, given marks to that paper, and if another paper comes in which nothing like that is there, so definitely a comparison will be there and it may impact our marks also. So that is uh, the importance of test series also. Because in test series, we can do all these experiments. We in While we are writing tests in that limited time of three hours, as, uh, sir, as you said before, if uh, we are taking tests in an offline test center, we'll be have a limited time. Like in within three hours, we have to do all these things. So um, definitely when a person does it for the first time, if it is your first test series, you will not get time. Means we may spend more time on diagrams like that. It will happen and we may not be able to complete the paper. Only during that time, we will understand how what is our answer writing speed, where should we improve? So at what point we should use the diagrams as gap fillers like that? All these things we will know only once we do it. So that is the importance of test series also. So uh, my advice is that we should try all these things while we are writing the test series. And it should come organically or spontaneously. Like, you should not, we should not draw diagram for the sake of drawing. Uh, it will automatically come. Sometimes we will know, yeah, here I should make a flowchart. If some classification is asked, here I will draw a flowchart. It will organically come. Once we do this in test series, it will organically come. What should be the revision strategy of this year's mains candidate? How much are the ideal revisions for a mains candidate, particularly for the September? Uh, sir, for optional, uh, the regarding the revision strategy, what I could say is that it is always uh, good to have a revision note of ourselves. Because, uh, as I said, if it is a 10 mark question, we may write an intro, introduction, a conclusion, and we may write some points. So all that all that matters is that you should have five unique points. <clears throat> so we should remember that points. Uh, for example, if, if some principles is asked. Uh, principles of agriculture extension we should know what are those points the explanation part we can do so always have a revision note of ourselves and within that uh, revision notes we could only note down which are the important points and uh, which are the value added examples so it is always better to revise that thing again and again because um, i think for optional we will get one week gap this time also right sir yes after the gs Yes, yes. Yeah, so in that one week gap, it is not better to go for all our notes, go back to that series. No, it is not better. 
so if we have a uh, revision note of ourselves in which only the important points like what are the important subheadings to be written for the exam and what are the value added examples and what are the uh, names for example there will be some varieties that we need to memorize there will be some diagrams that, that we need to memorize so all these value added points it should be there in our revision notes so uh, it is better to prepare a revision notes because uh, in agriculture mostly the questions repeat all of the times so we we will know which are the important questions and of course uh, there may be some other questions also but if we revise uh, that point wise it would be always better uh, sir what i did was that uh, in civil service we have optional 250 mark uh, paper for 3 hours means yeah. uh, what i did was in one hour i will complete at least 80 to 90 marks question so it doesn't comes whether it is a 10 marker or 15 marker or 20 marker if there is one hour time i will complete at least 80 to 90 mark question so in 3 hours i will finish uh, 250 okay. marks so what i did was that uh, in that 3 hour i will spend at least 5 to 10 minutes for selecting the questions uh, because as we know there may be there are eight questions and first and fifth questions are compulsory and out of the remaining uh, seven questions Sorry, after the remaining six questions, we need to select three questions. So, selecting the question is also very important because uh, there will be three subparts uh, within a question. And uh, it is always better that we select such a way that all the parts are known to us. For example, uh, the 20 marks or, and one 10 mark we may know. That means in a 50 mark question, we may know 40 marks or 30 marks, but other 20 marks we may not know. But in a cumulative way, it will definitely affect our total marks. So always select the questions in which all the subparts are known to us. So it is very important to give some time and think which questions that we attempt. So minimum five minutes we can dedicate for that. And rest of the thing, what I could say is that it is always better to start writing from those questions that we know well. And it is also important that... Uh, we should strike off in the question paper the questions that we have attended or sometimes we may miss the question and if we take a target like in one hour i will write 80 to 90 mark questions it does not matter whether we start with 15 or 20 mark questions like that and we should give the content and we should uh, fill the paper based on the marks of the question within the weight limit it is it is only what that matters my message is that the 60 to 70 days is it is a very plenty of time because uh two months they can definitely devise a proper strategy by attending the test series by doing revisions and all as the time goes if when the time comes when it is only 10 days to main you will realize that oh what was that 60 to 70 days like that so this is actually plenty of time if we if you utilize this time, you can definitely do wonders. Uh, me also, uh, in my last attempt, I was working in high court. So I got only uh, 40 days time to prepare for my mains, like that. But within that time, I manage. And within this time, the most important thing is prioritizing our study. And always set a target mark. Like, I will score this much mark for these papers. And based on that, prioritize the subject. And within the subjects also, always remember about this cost-benefit ratio. Like, which all subjects, if I study for this much time, I can score more mark. Within agriculture, optional also, if I say, there are some topics which are very less in, uh, which has very less content, but that content is always repeatedly asked. If we go for paper one, we can see weed science, dry land agriculture, irrigation, these are very low, uh, less number of contents these uh, port portions have, but every year they are repeated. In paper two also, some questions of uh, the food production technology, physiology, genetics, breeding, these areas are always repeated. So first, we should identify that target areas and we should revise it well. And then later go to the other portions like that. Prioritize our study and revise our points and always remember about the cost to benefit ratio based on that study always set a target mark and you can definitely achieve more than that okay uh, so thank you devipriya for joining with us and sharing very important insights particularly for agriculture optional and your suggestions for this year's mains candidate uh, we wish you all the best for your future plans okay.
hope you will be in delhi and meet our offline student batches so so thank you once again okay okay sir